Another way to select options when using an AutoCAD command is by right-clicking to display a shortcut menu. When you create line segments, AutoCAD prompts you in the command window and, if dynamic input is turned on, adjacent to the cursor. After you specify the first point of the first line segment, the prompt includes options. These options are displayed in the command window inside square brackets. And you can choose an option by typing the capital letter corresponding to the desired option. Notice that when dynamic input is turned on, when you type a letter, the letter appears in the dynamic input field, not in the command window. When using dynamic input, you can also select one of the options by pressing the down arrow on the keyboard. There's also a third way to select one of these options. Whenever AutoCAD offers you options for a command, you can right-click to display a shortcut menu that includes those options. The available options appear in the middle portion of this shortcut menu and I can choose the option I want by clicking on it inside this menu. So as you can see, there are three different methods for selecting these options, and it really doesn't matter which method you use. As you use AutoCAD, you'll probably figure out which method works best for you. I actually prefer to right-click. That way, I can focus on my drawing, and I don't have to take my hand off the mouse. I can click to select commands, and pick points, and right-click to select options.